Hello, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I will show you how to capture your Yahoo Finance data using the API. First of all, we have go to Visual Basic and you see this screen. They have a code of this uh, API. I also provide in the video description the open source is this file link you easily download and use and you replace your API. We have USD and if I have a BGP and I run this code, now see here the data will be updated. You just need to in this C column add the currency sample and you just press this button. This Yahoo Finance API. Now script is automatically writing. If I close this one and here I write the USD and I run this script this is Yahoo Finance API see here our field is automatically populated let's be understand you the course first of all in this section we assign the active sheets we don't assign any specific sheet for example I go to another sheet I write the USD and I run this code there is working of the each sheet you just copy this code and you paste your personal micro and this code is working on your entire Excel. First of all understand the coding. Here I add the own error resume next. If there any error, ignore it and resume to your next script. First of all, the all of the column, the active sheet dot cell, this is a row. Row one and the all of the column start from the column four because the start column is the column D and we write the heading name okay you just add the heading name if i delete this heading name and i delete the data now i run this script see here we have all of value but we don't have a heading in this case i write the heading in the first column in the first row for each column and you see the all data is populated here all of the relative column here i write the name i as long and last row is wrong last row active sheet dot range the last range dot and excel up for example when we go to the script they go to the up and this is the last row the row 2 where i write the usd if i write the bgp now it's come to last row to and excel up row this row is a tree capture automatically then I add the loop loop for i equal to last row from 2 to last row this row 2 to your last row okay, now in case this one is the last row and this is the row 2 in the same row sample as a string sample equal to active sheets dot cells i comma 3 i means row the starting row and the last row and 3 means this is a row th column 3 here I create the div URL as string I write the URL I insert the API key and after the API key we add the sample but I create this sample string and I assign the row create a HTTP request div HTTP as objective here I uh, set the HTTP the create objective you need also assign this reference to assign the script library as well and script runtime there I send request to retrieve the response and here is the JSON we need to JSON to extract the desired data from the JSON object and split into the separate column set JSON this is a JSON convert inside have a JSON convert API and this is API from opensource.org if you don't find this API you just go to this website and you just capture your API here the write a code if the Mac they write another code if the VPS 7 they write this code 32 bit 64 bit and they also run on the Mac user 
first of all here we start our column 4 because the column 3 is our symbol of currency symbol the I write the JSON the response and results 1 we need the shorts name in column 1 we just assign the shorts name in the column 1 if you I click the debug print see here we have all of the heading with the value you just choose which heading you need you just write here and you just assign the column name that is a simple thing and after that one we just need to assign next i to run the next loop the same thing if you have a more than sample 10,100 they automatically assign the last row and they run row 2 to last row where your data is a finish I hope you understand if they have any question you feel free for me ask him in my whatsapp number I also provide in description over you comments in the YouTube thank you